Hey guys and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Lands of Law. Yes, I have finally gotten around to starting to record this playthrough. I've been meaning to do it for absolutely ever, but I've been having some some issues with recording and running the game and such and I'm currently running the uh, the game in Scum VM 2.2 and it's the GOG version I'm using and I was going to try and record it using DOSBox and DOSBox X but that didn't work particularly well. It had some horrible tearing and recording issues so I went with Scum VM instead which I think is really a better idea. It's going to look much better. And the scaling of the video capture is going to be a little bit distorted, but I think I've managed to hide that quite well behind a very gentle softening filter. So I, this should look fine. I, there is a slight incorrectness, which bugs me a bit. But, you know, yeah, it's it's. Uh, I don't think you're going to notice, hopefully. I shouldn't have mentioned it anyway, but <laughs> let's, uh, let's just have a sip of tea and press start a new game. I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? So this is the kind of select screen and we've got four champions here. And I remember playing as Axel. This guy is a magician. And we can click them and listen to what they've got to say here. Do my looks frighten you? Magic runs strong amongst my people. I may not seem as strong as the others, but I'm more adept with the magic of the lands. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go magic this time, though. Let's not have any fooling around here. Strong is strong. Trust your instincts on this one. I'm the best fighter of the bunch. A natural. Strength. Magics. <laughs> what good is it all if you can't dodge blows? I'm fast. Quick. Go with these lodestones if you plan to plot along. But if you want to win this quest, better pick me. And finally, Conrad. I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Face it, with all the dangers in the land, you need someone with my adaptability. And I think you can actually just well, upgrade... have you decided? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm talking, Patrick. Can I be allowed to just, you know, talk to my views? <laughs> uh, I think you can actually train all the skills with any character you don't need to just go strictly magic or well, have you decided or fighter i think but yeah i haven't quite decided maybe i should go with conrad yeah he seems to be a very nice all-around i'm chap. the most well-rounded champion for yes your excellent settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions will do welcome to gladstone keep king richard awaits you in the throne room well, that's nice. Uh, I'm just going to change some settings here. I am going to... Oh, hang on. That's not it. Um, let's do text subtitles on, I think. Could be a good idea. I think anyone that speaks will pop up here. So let's just uh, have a poke around here. We can sidestep. And we can turn around. The forest below appears tranquil. Ah, yes. Not for long. The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful. Yeah, I'll, I'll change that soon. Conrad, were you not summoned to see the king? Go back straight north into the throne room. I, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at you, sir. Besides, you look very much like your buddy here. That's weird. Conrad, yeah, I know. Go away. I'm just, see the king? I'm just passing. Go oh. back straight north into the throne room. <laughs> yes, I will do that. I promise. I promise. Let's do it. Before he murders me. The hidden plumbing seems miraculous. And I was so amazed by this back in the day that everything that the character spoke was actually recorded by an actor. And it's really good voice acting as well. Pretty damn the impressive. Evil is Richard's mascot. Yeah, they've got things to say about everything except this for some reason. <laughs> you don't like this, Conrad? I'm sorry. That's just... Royal Herborium. Ooh. Hi. Shh. Did, did you hear something? If Scotia does attack, they say we won't hear a thing. Quickly now, point out what you need. So we can buy stuff, I think. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Those are only experimental okay. ingredients. Okay, so we can only buy these, yeah. That's aloe. Rub the leaf on wounds to heal them. Would you like to buy a leaf? Nah. I prescribe ginseng to neutralize poisons and soothe injuries. Would you like to buy... 
No. That salve is a secret Gorka recipe for healing. That is a 20 crown donation. Oh, donation, eh? I see. Well, I've got some of these already, so I'm just gonna, you know, Farewell, then. leave. Bye bye. You look slightly like a chimpanzee. Not sure why. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. Yeah, I agree. Fine swords, impressive wow. decorations. This is still impressive that they could be bothered recording all of this. <laughs> Victor Glaston, royal armorer. Let's have a chat with Victor, shall we? I think he's German. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scorcher's new toy. <laughs> Why afraid? Look at Victor. Myself could use a shape changer. <laughs> Don't forget to get to the chopper. You show Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell, okay? Right. That sounds suspiciously like a certain, um, actor. <laughs> uh, we can buy stuff, you I suppose. You need that maze? 40 crowns. Uh, nah, not that badly. Excellent weapon. 125, are you drunk? That one a weapon right for you. 60 crowns. Yeah, it's uh, pretty expensive. You know what? I'll be back. Keep... You again come visit. No? Keep polishing your sword, if you know what I mean. This must be fed by an artesian well. Really? There's another line? The hidden plumbing, this must be for <laughs> hidden plumbing seems miraculous. I was hoping to find some coins in this well, but no. Jaron Arborath, Royal Chamberlain. Well, Garen, let's... Door, the door is locked. Oh, okay, he don't want to talk to me. I can, I can see why. The old tapestries glow with age. Yeah. Richard's great-grandfather Ludwig. Wow, there's so much to explore just in the kind of tutorial area. Can I? No, can't go that way. I was hoping to stumble across some, you know, unguarded Henry treasures. Henry were mounted warriors. The kingdom looks deceptively peace of forest below appears tranquil. Okay. And there's a need for a key. Okay, fair enough. And I think this is the way to Richard here. Let's the check the view one more time. Peaceful. Okay, still peaceful. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Okay, all of these guards look very, very similar. I must admit, but I do believe you get variants of them. Sometimes they don't have a beard, so they did change that around. And I must say, the thing that I really loved about this game back in the day was the visuals. I mean, I had a lot of fun playing it, but... Uh, I mean, the graphics are really, really gorgeous. Still looks really nice today. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Conrad. Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the keep. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. And a pile of money, please? Uh. The throne door is locked. Okay, they just kicked me out and I couldn't even talk to them. That's that's a bit rude. Also, these, these windows are a bit weird because they kind of sometimes seem to lead to places where that's not supposed to be, you know, an outside view. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and... No, not this way. I think... We were supposed to go this way. Yeah, hello, oh, whatever your name is. it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would-be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. And some money? Okay. Look, even the beasts seek shelter. So, I've got, oh, I've got a key as well. I forgot about that. That's good. Can I? What are you waiting for? Be gone. Um, all right, I'm sorry. If I want you to touch something of mine, <laughs> I'll ask you. <laughs> I sure hope you don't want me to touch anything of yours, because that would be I want you to mildly touch disturbing. Of mine, I'll ask you. Use your own maps. 
Those are mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, exploring. If I want you to okay, touch Okay, then I'm, I'm line, leaving I'll now. Sorry. You. If you need help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Okay, Timothy. I will try and keep that in mind. Let's just go and use the key. Library. Oh, well, we can get the magical atlas, which is, you know, i.e. basically And so a it map. came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Yes, that sounds great. For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. That sounded vaguely familiar. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. Okay, I'll just stay in the pub then. The kingdom looks to so Ah, here's my, my map. Magic Atlas. Finally. Yeah. I think this map will draw it as we go. If I remember this correctly. I kind of don't remember too much about playing this game apart from having a lot of fun with it and really enjoying it. And I think I kind of uh, thought that this was what I had hoped for with Dungeon Master 2 because I'm pretty sure I played this after Royal Herborium. I played Dungeon Master 2 which honestly was Victor Glaston, a bit of Royal a Armor. disappointment. Well, why not just leave? Because the guards have gotten out of the way and let's go to town and go to the pub and get drunk okay it's a forest that's uh that's sad i was hoping for a local town but yeah let's just uh, explore away we need some money i need some weapons i don't think i have much beyond um my fists and a rock of course can we equip that Place it in your character's hand. Okay, I'd love to. So if you left click here, we can go into the inventory screen and I believe we can put a rock here. I don't really think I want to be using that. I have a dagger, a puny one, but... Uh... Yeah, and here's the stats, by the way. Fighter, rogue, mage. I think the RPG element of this game is pretty simple, at least as far as the manual um, was concerned. So these are the three stats we can increase and I think we do this by simply just, you know, fighting, stealing stuff or whatever and just using magic. Hmm. Can't go that way. Ooh, we've got loot. There are silver coins in here. Nice. Swarm? What is this? Oh, it's a spell. I see. Um, oh, how did you do that again? I think you can learn spells that you find. I did read the manual, but... The nest is empty. But I can't quite remember. It's a couple of days ago. Should have really reread it now. Is that a, is that a Pseudobushia hugiflora? You know what? I think it is. Ooh, nice. Can we stack these? I don't think we can. That's nice. I just put them like this. Yeah, there really is a lot of things to click in this game. No time to make mud pies now. Sure. Oh. Um. Okay. I can't go that way. Okay. Oh, so this is what I'm seeing. Okay. Now oh, maybe I should just explore. Finish exploring the forest first here. Sure, there's more goodies and maybe some monsters to fight who knows oh hmm. hi what would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this oh, I excuse wonder. me lad are you with king richard i need to get into the keep and i have forgotten the password may i go in with you i'm sorry miss but these are dangerous times timid fool i will not forget you oh dear i think that was scotia she looked a lot hotter now, though, I must admit. Oh, nice. Excuse me, I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Well, where is it? 
You know what? I was wondering about my money too, but let's just wait with that. I'm just gonna keep exploring away here. I'm gonna pick this cl place clean. Pretty large, this forest. Ah, this must be the end of the rain. No time to make mud pies now. Are you kidding? There's money in the in the uh, <laughs> in the water, in the puddles. Hey, you! I'm taking your money. You know what? I'm so handsome, so I'm just gonna bluff this you. This is all I have, sir. Do you think I'm stupid? Well, yes, I I do. No, no, no! Please, we're gonna do some stabby business here, hopefully. Oh, hang on, did I just... No, it is equipped. It just looked like it wasn't. Ow! How am I not murdering this thing? Ow! Okay, I'm... not going the right way. Ow! Ow! Can I use this? Mm, how do I use it? I can't remember. Ah, got him. It's a bit concerned that I actually forgot how to heal. I wonder how we do that. Anyway, that guy just robbed me blind almost, and he didn't have the decency of drop dropping anything. That's a shame. Now, how do we... I have checked the manual, and I think you just kind of take an item and right-click. Yeah, that worked. And I think we can sleep as well to, to restore magic and uh, hit points, of course. Yeah, that was a close call. Sorry about not remembering that, but yeah, that was a bit sad and embarrassing. But hey, that's that's life. <laughs> Let's see if we can... Okay. That is either some very large and angry frogs... Too heavy. Too heavy. Or something... I don't... Oh, hello. It's, it's boars. Damn it. You know what? Yep, we can throw stuff at them. No time to make mud pies. I don't now. want to make mud pies. I want to murder these things. Oh god, this is not good. Ah, here we have a dagger. A lot of angry things here in the forest today. A weathered dagger, eh? Yeah, let's just keep that with us. We can always throw it at stuff. Oh, there's so much to explore. I'm I'm already having fun. <laughs> let's put the dagger here. As always, it's useful to throw stuff. Sorry for the slow start here, but yeah, I was a little bit badly prepared. That happens sometimes. The nest is empty. Oh, we could even steal bird eggs, I presume. <laughs> Don't remember that. Too heavy. I wonder too what heavy. that is. Too heavy. Hmm. Too heavy. I'm too weak, you mean. Oh, well, there's something. Moving out. Why are thugs oh. guarding that cave? You know what? I don't care right now. <laughs> Look at these animations. They are so neat. I was pretty damn amazed by this back in the day. Um... Okay, so Where that's the wrong way. Guarding that cave. I'm sure there's lovely treasures inside, but for now, I'm just gonna explore away and maybe go back to the. No time to make mud pies now. To the castle and buy a decent weapon. Plenty of these swarms, and I do have spells as well. I can cast them by clicking here. I think I've only got. One and you need to have the spell selected beforehand. I think. Is that a pseudo bush? Is that a pseudo bush here? Huge of. Oh, nice. Let's put that there. And also try and make sure so I have my projectiles here. If something nasty should pop up. Looks like I've kind of explored everything here. So maybe we should just have a little bit of a rest. I don't know if there's a safe place to do that. Maybe by the lake? Oh, there's a cave. Yeah, that's this the place where... There's nothing in the hollow. The bad guys were hanging out, I think. And this is the way to the... Yeah, here we are. This might be decently safe, so I'm just gonna... 
Have a bit of a kip. Oh, nothing nasty happened. That is good. Now, I'm absolutely keen on finding out why these guys are guarding that cave. And oh, there's a way to go over there as well. Let's do that. Well, why not just try and sneak past them? That worked. Nice. Thugs hideout. Let's see if they've got some lovely stuff that I can borrow. I might return it even someday. I kind of like the hot bar down here, although it's yeah, it's very 90s, I suppose. But I do like having access to all these things quickly. Okay, a lever. Ah, yes. There's going to be tons of treasures in here, I'm a lantern. sure. Ah, yeah, a lantern. We can indeed use this to brighten our surroundings. Torn shirt is... Is it what I already have? I think it is, right? That's a decent shirt. This is a garbage one. So, uh, yeah, let's just discard that. Weather dagger again. Why not? You can always chuck it at people, I guess. Okay, I I just saw that as I stepped on it. <laughs> can we? Uh, I don't know. Let's be very careful it here. It crumbled to dust. Okay, what was the point of that? <laughs> Let's just. Can I? Okay, let's do that. Now that didn't work, but I saw something down here. Ah, thug's key. This is a very sophisticated uh, hideout for a bunch of thugs, I must admit. It crumbled to I dust. Get, why do you just store garbage in here? There are it's silver coins in here. So high tech this place, and you just store junk. That's a bit annoying, but what are these things anyway? We can trigger that one. Can we? No, nope, that doesn't work. There's got to be something more in here, right? Because that key must lead somewhere.